Hi friends, my name is Kate. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make Animal Crossing videos. And today's video is very exciting because we are talking about the free update that is coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons on April 28th. Today is the 26th, so that is in two days on Wednesday the 28th. And it is like a seasonal update, it seems like, so it's going to include May Day, International Museum Day, wedding season, and Mother's Day and Father's Day and stuff like that. So that's honestly pretty exciting, and yeah. So I got Animal Crossing in August, so I missed out on wedding season and May Day and Museum Day. So I'm honestly kind of excited for the update because I haven't experienced these events before, but I know for everyone else they might have experienced this before and they might not be as happy with the update, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that. <laughs> So the first upcoming event is May Day, and that takes place from April 29th to May 7th. And you use your May Day ticket and tour a rather interesting island between those dates. And these tickets are single use, so you want to plan your trip accordingly is what the article says. And yeah, I think that's Rover sitting in the background, which I'm really excited. I know that there's Rover's suitcase, which I think is what the item was last year. I'm not 100% percent correct because I didn't play it last year but I'm pretty sure that's what it was so I don't know if there's going to be any new items to that but I hope so. The next event that is coming up is International Museum Day and that takes place from May 18th to May 31st and players can take part in a stamp rally between those dates after talking to Blathers and receiving a special stamp card or stamp car, players can enjoy viewing fish, insects, fossils, and art while collecting stamps at the various museum exhibits. That honestly sounds like a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. I don't go into my museum enough, so I feel like collecting stamps at various museum exhibits is honestly pretty exciting and something that I think will be a lot of fun and adds something to the game. The event that I am most excited for is wedding season and this takes place from June 1st to June 30th and this is when you go back to Harv's Island and you decorate for Reese and Cyrus to take pictures and you usually get the heart crystals and then you can you know pay for pay with the heart crystals to get really cool wedding items. I loved this in the game. I time traveled back because I did not have the game last June, but I love the wedding items. They are all over my island. They fit the fairy court theme. They're beautiful items and they are my favorite items in the game. And I'm really excited for this update because there's actually going to be new items and we can see them here. So the new items look like a, a bell, a ring pillow, a door plate, um, which seems really, really excited. I'm really excited for that. That bell, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put that all over my fairy core island. I think that it's absolutely adorable. Like I said, I'm very excited for it. I love all the wedding items, and I'm just extremely excited that there's going to be new wedding items this year, and that it's not just gonna be the same. Also, I just wanted to mention that there is a thank you dad mug and a thank you dad apron. So I'm assuming that there's going to be Mother's Day and Father's Day items in the game, which I think is absolutely adorable. I think that's so cute and so fun. Also, it looks like there's going to be some new seasonal items. So there's like that cheese wheel that is on that table right there, which I think is so adorable. I'm totally putting that in my picnic area. Like, yes, please. I love that. <laughs> But it also looks like there's going to be some new flags, and that is pretty interesting to me. So all in all, this seems like a very little update, I guess. I don't know what update this is. I think it's 1.10, not 2.0. I still have hopes that 2.0 will be a big update, but I think, you know, with the Sanrio update and the one year anniversary update, I think that was a really big update. So it makes sense that they're having smaller updates until another point but i'm pretty excited for it leave a comment down below what you guys think about this update if you're excited for it if you're disappointed in it i want to hear everyone's opinions and reactions to it but like i said i'm pretty excited and part of my excitement is because i didn't play these events last year so for me this is new and i know it's not new for everyone else but there's still a group of players who have not played these events because they maybe they got the game on christmas or they just got the game on their birthday and it was after these events like myself <laughs> so i'm pretty excited for it and yeah like i said leave a comment down below i want to hear everyone's thoughts and opinions and i'm hoping that the next update might be huge or something i don't know we'll see i have some I don't know. Some things I want to see. Just please put rugs outside 
and maybe Brewster, that would be really awesome. But <laughs> all right, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!